Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon for Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we went through the Haunted Towers. Somehow we managed to get all the treasure and the dragons there. And now, we're going to complete the last of the Dreamweaver's homeworld, starting with Icy Flight. This can be a bit of a trouble spot if you don't know how to do this one. And this may take me more than one try. So, you want to start with the lighthouses. You actually want to flame those first. And you also want to work on the boxes from there. Then you want to do the explosive barrels. And then you want to work on the crates next. I decided to give myself a little bit of a head start with the crates. So that way in case I had trouble I could easily hit a few of them. If I could hit this one that would be great. And there should be one more. There we go. Now I need to focus on these explodable barrels if I can hit them and you also have these little guys on the little copters who are just going up and down here you want to take care of them when you can and I may have messed this up badly maybe I don't know This is what I get for trying to do two things at once. Ah! Oh. Come on! Why can't I hit stuff? Yeah, as I said, this is a pain in the butt to do. Just because of how everything is more or less set up. And I... I want to hit all these things as soon as I come across them. And I can't seem to do it for some reason. Come on. And the last one should be somewhere around here. If I can get to it... It's Spyro! Oh my... Ugh. Why is flying around trying to hit things so difficult? It shouldn't be difficult. And... I can't get the things as quickly as I would like. Good grief! Just hit things, please, you dopey dragon! Can't hit that for some reason. Ugh! You can tell that I do not like the later flight levels. Just because of stuff like this. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> ah! I need you to... Uh. Why is this on a blind corner? Ugh. Now I need to hit this. In this. And, oh my word. You know what? Maybe it's better. If I do it in a way, no.
Maybe it's better if I do it in a way where I can easily focus on the barrels more. So that way I'll have more room and hopefully more time to hit the things. What, what am I trying to say here? I want to hit the barrels first and then I want to hit the guys that are flying around in the air. And that's how I wanted to do that. That's how I wanted to do it. I need you to fly, Spyro. All right. Now for the third guy. And I just now realized that was going to hit both of them. Okay. This should give me plenty of time to hit the guys that are flying around. Ugh, do you believe in magic? Why did that take so long? I've only been recording for about six minutes, but... That shouldn't have went like it did. No, I'm not trying this again. All right, we now have 10,000 treasure in the bank. And you're probably wondering where to go now to get to Jox, who is the boss for this. Simple, you just fly straight to the balloon and then you turn left. There you go. Now we're confronting Jox. And Jox, this level is kind of weird. You'll see, what it's, you'll see what I mean as soon as we show up. So we have these weird-looking demons in metal armor. You have to ram them. And the guys carrying the flowers, you have the flame. We are now in some sort of weird demon world. And we just have to beat everybody up and just try not to die as we're doing it. Also, there are jesters here, and you need to flame the jesters in order to get onto the platforms and get to other areas. For this first part, you need 375 out of 500 gems before you confront Jox himself. The other 125 will be in the boss area. As long as you don't get too close to the enemies here, you won't get swiped at, which is a good thing. All right. And I managed to somehow get that in time. That was pretty cool. We will have to come back here later because there is a area here that requires us to come back with a key we have a box that requires us to come back with a key I should say and now we got more of these guys again as long as you just don't get super close we shouldn't have too much of a problem and you also want to be careful with that guy in particular because you can accidentally fall off of the edge trying to ram him. Now these two guys, these two jesters in particular, you do want the flame and in rather quick succession. Because if you can do that, why game? You can get up here. And if you know what you're doing, you can easily get up here and get your key. Now I want to land somewhere safe so that way I don't fall into a pit or something. Okay, perfect. And somehow I managed to land right there. That is actually something I wanted to do. For some reason, this platform is up and spinning. You'll see why and you'll also find out how to make it stop spinning. 
do want to take care of the demons here though I'm not even sure if demon is the right word though it's probably the only word I can use because it's the only thing that these enemies look like and what is that oh they're the metal boxes I missed at the beginning that's what they are and there are some ge jewels here as well there are some gems here too want to get those and whoa I want to get to the box before I do anything else and then we're gonna make that ugh, it's like chasing after a toddler this I want to then get to the platform or and make it stop spinning yeah that's what that is what I wanted to do I wanted to get to a certain platform make it stop spinning and make it go down and stuff all right we've gotten quite a few here is this where I want to go this isn't where I want to go So, this place in particular. Those last two enemies, those last two gestures that I got. The first one raises this big tall platform that leads to the dragon. The other one we needed to get up there then to the first platform that I had to mess with. And now for this part. First of all, we're going to free the dragon... Then we're going to go back, or rather we're going to go forward, and then we're going to get some gems. Thank you for releasing me. Would have been better if you weren't over here, but, well, okay. So, we need to uh, flame him to get back, by the way. In the meantime and in between time. I do want to flame all these demons, and I also want to get all of the treasure that is at the bottom. Thankfully, we can always try multiple times if we need to. How did that happen? Well, one more time. Assuming I can't, I don't mess up the jump every single time. Perfect. Now we can get down here and get everything else. And thankfully, there is an extra life here, which I do want to get my hands on. We are now at 50 lives, which is excellent. And, no, wait, wait. Oh, no, we need him for that. That's what we need him for. I forgot all about this platform, and I just did a... Did a... The, uh practice run for this I say as I struggle to find words I say normally in videos and somehow I managed to make it over here and now we need to get back apparently okay and we need to get away from the whirlwind and we need to get back. There's a dragon. And we can fly over here. Okay, we are at 318 out of 500. Something tells me that we've pretty much found everything that we can. So, we need to get back that archway that we saw near the key that needed or rather the treasure box that needed the key and if we go down here okay it's 325 not 375 if you're at 325 by the time you reach the second dragon which is right over here you did everything right. You should have 325 treasure and one dragon by the time you get the jocks. Any advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. I 
wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh huh? Well, that was very specific. Where's Jack? There it is. There he is. We need to follow him to the top. And hopefully not get beamed by a flying box. And apparently I need to hit him every time he's on a box. It's the, apparently the only way I could get up to this platform here. Which I really don't want to mess up. And let's float over here. And then over to here. And apparently, once you get him over here, you have to hit him, and then he'll get out of your way, and you'll be able to get back home. I don't know if you have to hit him multiple times. I just usually do it just to see if I can. But as long as you follow him to the end, you'll be able to beat him with one flame, I guess, and you will be able to return home. And now we are heading to the final area of the game. And we are getting pretty close to the end, too. Where is the balloonist? I do not know where the balloonist is. I'm trying to find him. Okay, that's right. He's to the left of this. That's right. I had to think about it there for a second. And now we can go on to Nasty's world. Nasty's world acts a little differently, as you will see. We have some fodder. We have some gems to pick up. And we just have this whole island. There's an area here called North Cove, which we will have to go to. But it doesn't seem like we can get to everything. This one mechanical island is where all of Nasty's world will take place in. And you'll only be able to get so much at a time. Right now, we can get 75 out of 200. And we can get one of the dragons. But in order to get more, we'll have to complete more levels. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. And just like that, we will be able to save our progress. And we can save Nork Cove for next time. We are now at 91%. We have completed we have completed a very good amount of the game. And there's not much left to go. And in the next video, we will have to head to North Cove in order to get the last of everything and bring this adventure to a close. So join me next time for that. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!